Injection Techniques This tutorial will analyse the different injection techniques and how they are used. The injection techniques are divided into four routes, the intradermal, the subcutaneous, the intramuscular and the Z-track route. The nurse must be familiar with the location of the injection site in relation to the skin as this knowledge is needed to ensure you administer the medication in the right area. The intradermal route is where medication is injected just below the top layer of the skin, the epidermis. As the injection site is not near any major muscles or blood vessels, the action of the medication is limited to the area of the injection site and is therefore primarily used for anaesthetics or allergy testing. A maximum amount of 0.5 mils of medication can be given. A blue needle should be used and inserted at a 10 to 15 degree angle. The subcutaneous route is usually used when slow absorption medications are needed, for example, anticoagulants and insulin. It is only suitable for the administration of 1 to 2 mils of medication and should be administered just below the subcutaneous layer. This is found by lifting the skin to raise the adipose tissue from the muscle layer, which will determine the injection angle. The nurse has to calculate whether using a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle to reach the subcutaneous site. The intramuscular route is used when a rapid systematic action is required. The nurse must consider whether a blue or a green needle should be used to access the muscle of this patient without hitting the periostal layer of the bone. The intramuscular injection can be injected on five sites, on the deltoid muscle, the gluteal muscle, the ventrogluteal site, the vastus littoralis muscle and the rectus femoris muscle. The z track route is used when the medication can stain or cause skin irritation. For the z track technique, the skin is pulled to one side which moves the subcutaneous tissue approximately 1 to 2 centimetres. The needle is inserted at a 90 degree angle and after aspiration the medication is inserted into the muscle whereupon the nurse waits 10 seconds. This allows the medication to disperse within the muscle. After the time lapse the skin is released as the needle is withdrawn. This ensures that the skin closes over the injection site, preventing leakage onto the skin.